Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Alan G. White A Period of Trial October 15th And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, and I ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Revelation chapter 10 verse 10 the condition of the unbelieving Jews illustrates the condition of the careless and unbelieving amongst professed Christians who are willingly ignorant of the work of our merciful high priest. In the typical service, when the high priest entered the most holy place, all Israel were required to gather about the sanctuary and in the most solemn manner humble their souls before God that they might receive the pardon of their sins and not be cut off from the congregation. How much more essential is this antitypical day of atonement that we understand the work of our high priest and know what duties are required of us. People cannot with impunity reject the warning which God in mercy sends them. A message was sent from heaven to the world in Noah's day and their salvation depended upon the manner in which they treated that message. Because they rejected the warning, the Spirit of God was withdrawn from the sinful race and they perished in the waters of the flood. But Christ still intercedes in humanity's behalf and light will be given to those who, was, who seek it. Though this was not at first understood by Adventists, it was afterwards made plain as the scriptures which defined their true position began to open before them. In the passing of time, in 1844, was followed by a period of great trial to those who still held the Advent faith. Their only relief, so far as asserting their true position, was concerned was the light which directed their minds to the sanctuary above. Some renounced their faith in their former reckoning of the prophetic period and ascribed to human or satanic agencies the powerful influences of the Holy Spirit which had attended their advent moving, movement. And another class firmly held that the Lord had led them in their past experience and as they waited and watched and prayed to know the will of God they saw that their great high priest had entered upon another work of ministration and following him by faith they were led to see also the closing work of the church. They had a clearer understanding of the first and second angel's message and were prepared to receive and give the world the solemn warning of the third angel of Revelation chapter 14. Thank you for listening. This is your daily devotional. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Homeward Bound